Now we can now listen to John Dramani Mahama make that point about the Eid celebration. You have a farm to form agricultural cooperatives. We're going to give the support to farmers through their cooperatives, not to individual farmers. And so every center is going to have, every district is going to have a farmer's service center. And so if you are an agricultural cooperative, you register with your local farmer's service center. That is where you get your subsidized fertilizer. That is where you get your uh, weedy sites and pesticides. That is where if you want a tractor to plow for you, you go and they'll bring the tractor and plow for you. That is where you get all your services as a farmer. If you don't have money at the beginning of the farming season, they'll provide you with these services on credit. And then when you harvest your crop, whether it's maize or rice or whatever, after you have sold it, the little debt that is at the center, you go and pay so that the following year they can give you assistance again. That is how we're going to help farmers so that farmers can raise their productivity. In addition, every region is going to get an agro-industrial zone. And so government is coming to take land and then we're going to develop it. We'll extend water, electricity, we'll do the roads and everything. And then we'll encourage Ghanaian businessmen and foreigners to come and set up factories so that we can buy the rice from the farmers, mill it here, we can buy the maize from the farmers, cassava, whatever you produce, we will process it here before it goes out into the market. And so that's the agro-industrial uh, agro zones. Aside from that, for young people, we have the 24-hour economy. We're going to encourage businesses to work 24 hours a day, eight shifts a day, and so one job would have three shifts and it will employ three people so that more people can get work to do. We believe that that is going to be the game changer and it's going to create more avenues for our young people to get employment. NDC is the party that when we're in government, people feel safe and they're able to go about their business. Unfortunately, since MPP has been in power, it is as if we are living under a curfew. In the night when you drive on the roads, there are no cars because everybody is afraid of armed robbers. When NDC is in power, you can drive at any time of the night safely. And so, I'm giving a hint to the armed robbers. NDC is coming back. We're going to make our country safe again. We cannot stand the situation where our mothers go to the market and when they're coming back, they've sold their goods, armed robbers stop them, steal their money, collect their mobile phones and take everything that they have with them. We are going to come and fight armed robbery and make sure that we make Ghana safe again. We need it because if the 24-hour economy policy must work, then we must have safety and security in the country. So we're going to make our roads safe again so that people can go to markets and do whatever they want at whatever time of the day and be able to know that they'll get back home safely without being uh, attacked and killed. We have a market enhancement program. And so every district that has a market, we're going to improve the market so that our mothers and sisters who sell in the market can have a nice environment to be able to do their trading.